Illinois mayor is getting national attention for the way that she's spending taxpayer dollars. Now, critics say you can't turn your head in the Chicago suburb of Dalton without seeing the name of Mayor Tiffany Henyard. She's also the supervisor of a neighboring township and refers to herself as Super Mayor. It's her TikTok handle, too. But she's now accused of spending tens of thousands of taxpayer funds on self-promoting billboards, as well as putting her name on government buildings, government vehicles, even government rugs. Not to mention the Tiffany Henyard calendar, which includes the super mayor's birthday, because you can't forget that. She could pay for all of this herself, given that her salary for the two jobs is nearly $300,000. More than the state's governor, by the way. But it's all on the taxpayer's dime. And this goes beyond signage and merch. Henyard put an ordinance in place mm -hmm. that if she lost a future mayoral election, the next mayor's salary would be dropped from 200,000 bucks to 25,000. But if she wins, it stays the same. <laughs> she also spent tens of thousands of dollars on a week-long walk to promote her self-named cancer charity, which has yet to file required reporting. She expensed almost $15,000 for a trip to Vegas, as well as shooting music videos like this awesome one with fellow city employees. Here's one official in Henyard's Township on some of the super mayor's super spending. What was your reaction when you saw him? I, well, first of all, I didn't know anything about him. There's so many other ways we could have spent that money uh, that would have, you know, directly helped people. She's stealing money. She's stealing money and spending it on herself. But again, man, we got to have black folks in power. We got to have black people. It, it doesn't matter if, if they're qualified. It doesn't matter if they're doing the right thing. It doesn't matter if they're corrupt. It does not matter. <laughs> Again, it's black. She's black. And that's all that matters. A black female. But guys, you now watch what happens when the board of trustees of that town, of that village, confront her on what she's doing. Listen. WGN Investigates has an update on dysfunction in Dalton, where local leaders are fighting over transparency, spending, and safety. Now the South Suburbs controversial mayor is firing back, and it all played out at a public meeting last night. Y'all forget I am the leader. They want to hear from the mayor. If y'all ain't learned that yet, the mayor, not the trustees that don't do nothing, that only run their mouth. Y'all don't do no work, no work. Tiffany Henyard considers herself something of a crusader, but one who's clearly annoyed by questions from a rebellious group of Dalton trustees who are in a standoff with her over spending. At the end of the day, vendors are not being paid. Board approved it. The vendors are not being paid. How about you be a good leader, bring RFPs to the forefront, so not just us, but the residents and everybody else in America know how the money is being spent. WGN Investigates has cataloged tens of thousands of taxpayer dollars spent on trips, meals, and more by Tiffany Henyard and her allies in Dalton and on the Thornton Township Board, where she's the supervisor. Township credit card records show Henyard and other officials spent more than $67,000 on trips to Portland, Austin, Atlanta, and New York City. Many of the flights were first class. So were the accommodations. In Atlanta, Henyard and her team stayed at the Four Seasons Hotel, costing taxpayers more than $9,000. In New York, the bill came to $13,000. Henyard has refused to explain the specific purpose of the trips or why they travel in such style. But she appeared to refer to our reporting at Monday's Dalton meeting. But everything we do, we do for the people. But we under attack. We getting scrutinized in the media. For what? Loving on the people? Showing them that they matter to us? We going through the fires for y'all. Henyard calls her critics grandstanders who should get in line. Y'all should be ashamed of y'all stuff. Y'all black. Y'all are black. And y'all sitting up here beating and attacking on a black woman that's in power. Y'all should be ashamed of y'all Guys, we gotta break it. Guys, man, she's black. She's black and they're attacking a black woman. That's what they're doing. She's showing you love by spending your money. That's what she's doing. But again, can people understand just how bad it is to be a black woman nowadays, man? Again, she's dropped the do working for you, showing you love. But again, you're attacking her 
by asking her questions about why you're spending so much money. Why are you spending $10,000 to stay in Atlanta and $13,000 to stay in New York? Why are you doing this? Why is your salary $300,000 a year? Why? Why are you spending taxpayer dollars to have billboards up? Why? How dare you ask that question? How dare you? Because again, she's black. She's a black woman. And again, you are black. You're black. And you're asking questions of a black woman in power? How dare you? How dare you? She's just trying to show you love. Dalton's difficulties got worse in recent weeks with water main breaks, Henyard blames on trustee budget cuts. Then four people were shot and injured last week, leaving nerves frayed and Henyard's opponents pointing out her sizable security detail. It's unfortunate that politics are being played, but what has happened is a million dollars out of my budget has been cut because of politics. We're not saying the police is not doing a good job. What we're saying is you're assigning all of them to be with you when they should be out here protecting the residents so we can all feel safe. Residents are taking notice. Some spoke for and others against the mayor. Well, you know, we got the mayor here. I mean, meeting with the president of the United States. Everyone's seen the picture. I mean, that's a big deal. That That is great promotion for this city, for this town. Guys, man, again, it's about her. It's about her. She does not care one bit about the people of Dalton. Not one bit. I mean, she's jumping out the car like she's some singer or, you know, rap artist or whatever, man. Again, it's all about her. It's all about her. It's all about protecting her. They're taking money out of the budget that they could be using, again, for the cops, you know, to police the neighborhoods, to make everyone safe, like the one woman said. But again, they're not, they're not doing that. They don't care. She cares about herself. That's it. That's all she cares about. Again, again got her got got her picture on billboards, on, on magazines. Come on. It's all about her ego. It's all about how good she looks. Again, she's using the race card to promote herself. Again, how dare you? How dare you attack her? She black. And you're black. How dare you attack? Her? But guys, man, she's not the only one that uses the uh, the race card. Not the only one, man, that says, hey, you can't say anything because I'm black. I'm black and you're black, black, and you can't say nothing. We're black. We're chocolate people. You can't say anything, but you, you cannot have criticism of us. Watch this. Deputy Mayor Williams Ison, Deputy Mayor Mira Josie, Deputy Mayor Amazar, Deputy Mayor Maria Torres Springer. Have you ever seen this much chocolate leading the city of New York? This is representative of the city. That's why people are hating on me. You trying to figure out? Why they're hating on me? They're hating on me because those who, how many of you go to church? Ma'am, this is a Matthew 21 and 12 moment. Jesus walked in the temple. He saw them doing wrong in the temple. He did what? He turned the table Came over. over. I went to City Hall to turn the table over. First woman police commissioner of color. First Spanish-speaking police commissioner. First Spanish-speaking uh, uh, correction com com commissioner. Go through the line of what we're doing. Guys, we have truly get to work on man. That is not right. Not right at all. We got to recognize that that's evil. That is evil. I mean, could you imagine the other way around? No, you couldn't. Because again, people would be up in arms about that. Their heads would explode. But again, that's okay. That is okay that way. No, it's not. And again, man, people aren't attacking Mayor Adams, because he's like Christ, they're attacking him because he's evil. He's like the devil. And again, they're not really attacking him. As a matter of fact, you know, he can say pretty much whatever he wants to say. I mean, let's do him right there. He can say pretty much what he wants to say with very little pushback. 
And Brandon Johnson out of Chicago, I mean, he's no better. He's no better. Again, he can't do his job like he said he was going to do because, again, he has black kids and a black wife at home. His wife, she's so bad because she's black, apparently. I mean, again, I'm not saying it. He said it. His, he, his life is so bad because he's married to a black female and he has three black kids. But guys, watch this. I have children who attend schools who have soccer games, y'all. Yes, you know, you all are asking me as if I'm not a parent in this city. I get it. I'm mayor. I get it. But you're asking me to give you a date. And I have to court. Do you understand that you have not had a mayor like me? I get that. I have a wife. I have children. They have schedules. And plus, we still have public safety that we have to address. We still have the unhoused that we have to address. I still have a budget that I have to address. And I'm doing all of that with a black wife raising three black children on the west side of the city of Chicago. I am going to the border as soon as possible. We, we got to feel bad. We got to feel bad for Brandon Johnson, man. Little BJ. We got to feel bad for him. Because, again, he's married to a black woman. He's got three black kids. I didn't say it. He said it. I mean, truly, guys, we got we got to understand they are using this to say, "Hey, look, you can't criticize me. I'm doing the best I can. Why? Because I'm black. That's what they're doing. And and again, they like to liken themselves to Jesus Christ. And again, Mayor Eric Adams wasn't the only one that did that." I am a fighter, and y'all know that. So when you come for me, no, be prepared for the fight. Because at the end of the day, they talked about Jesus Christ. So <laughs> why don't I think y'all are not going to do me the same way? Somebody that's healing y'all and helping y'all. Same thing, I'm over here. You can't criticize black and brown because, again, that's racist. You can't do that. And if you do, then guess what? They're like Christ. They're like Christ. No, you're not, man. You're like that damn devil. Again, they're criticizing you, attacking you because, again, you're of good. They're attacking you because you're taking money. <laughs> you're stealing money from taxpayers. That's why. But again, man, they, they'll use anything they can. And right now, it's very popular to use the race card. Again, if you're black, oh, the only reason why they were attacking me is because I'm black. And again, I have a black wife and a black kids and black whatever, man. It's blacky, black, black, black. That's what it is. And that's what they're doing. And again, people have got to recognize, man, that when you do stuff like that, you're covering up whatever you're doing wrong. That's what you're doing. And again, you're making it about race and it's not. Or it shouldn't be. But guys, man, if you would, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Thanks. You son of a... You son of a... You son of a...